Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. June is a great month to go out and enjoy all the beauty of nature. And there's a lot of exciting aspects in the air. And here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Venus squares Mars on June 2nd. Libra, Venus in your ninth house of the higher mind inspires you to broaden your interest in education and faraway places. Understanding different people and cultures can add more color and spice to your life. But a challenging square for Mars in your sixth house of routine warns you not to forget there is work to be done. You must maintain a sense of reality and be efficient in your work. You know, I may be dreaming about tomorrow and forget all about today. <laughs> no one is perfect, but a little effort maintains your high standards. Mars conjuncts Neptune on June 13th. Libra, Mars in your sixth house of daily routine increases your energy and helps you be much more productive. So put your nose to the grindstone and take care of business. Be a little careful with machinery or quick motions because accidents can happen. His important conjunction to Neptune brings inspiration to motivate your actions in important work projects. A new visionary experience can lead to important creative breakthroughs. On the health front, you might want to add some yoga and meditation to your daily routines. And make sure you cut back a little on the sweets. It's good for your health. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Mercury turns retrograde on June 17th. It's always a good idea to slow down a little bit when Mercury is retrograde. And since Mercury is retrograde in your 10th house of status, he warns you to be extra diligent when working on career projects. There's a bit of confusion in the air, and messages can be lost or misunderstood. Perfection is your goal, but it's hard to achieve that level when people are giving you mixed messages or failing to follow through on deadlines. So keep one eye on the big picture and one eye on the details. And that way, you won't trip yourself up and you'll be more successful. Neptune turns retrograde on June 22nd. Libra, Neptune is retrograde in your sixth house of daily routine. Now, Neptune is always subtle, but now his energy can bring confusion in your everyday practical routines. If your imagination is wandering all over it, you can just create difficult situations that do not exist in reality. It is said that worry is the mind killer, but it can also hurt the body. Don't expect all of your ideas to be perfect. Some may need to be adjusted a bit. So this is a good time to reevaluate what you expect and what you give on the job. Mars enters Aries on June 27th. Mars is transiting your seventh house of relationships. His energy stimulates your interaction with partners in business and personal affairs. Listen carefully to others so you can understand what they want. There are no misunderstandings allowed. Negotiate to, to finesse business deals that are fair to everybody involved and take action to improve your personal relationships. Express your ideas with a sense of courage and conviction, but not with anger. These predictions were based on your sun sign. 
If you'd like a more personalized reading, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. Go to the readings page where you can order a personal psychic reading or astrology chart. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe and share these videos with your friends because they're free. Can't beat that. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have a great month.